actually when I come here I notice that the teamwork is so important especially as an interdisciplinary team because most of general practitioners in this uh, conference they complained about how their work is hard you know all different kinds of problems and most of them was about the mental health issues that's why I just felt myself so um, lucky because we work as an interdisciplinary team, multidisciplinary team. Uh, we work as uh, we work all together, uh, such as um, family physicians, nurse practitioners, uh, registered nurse, social workers, outreach worker, mental uh, mental health outreach workers. Uh, and dietitians uh, all together we work as a team and if we have any problem uh, and it, it is not in our you know uh, scope of practice the other uh, team worker helps us uh, as a social worker um, as they mentioned in this conference lots of mental health issues we have nowadays and I'm the clinical social worker and uh, I can offer therapy for my clients, for our patients. And, uh, therapy is really quick, really efficient way to deal with mental health issues. And also, I can offer not just psychological therapy, also social support, social um, therapy too. Uh, yeah, I think it's really uh, really good addition to the primary care. Uh, I think they are currently already uh, having a very strong role in strengthening primary health care. Uh, you can see this at events such as in Istanbul and last year in um, uh, Gothenburg where people are really engaged in having their workshops and telling their story about especially the improvements that can be made in primary health care. Um, and connecting people is very, a very uh, important role that this network uh, has and succeeds, I think, quite good in achieving uh, uh, this goal. Dr. Gates has been able to tell you a little bit about what the role of the Centre of Santé Intégrée in the development of a primary health care quality. Alors c'est très important parce que les centres de santé intégrés euh, permettent de traiter beaucoup plus de situations que seulement la médecine générale euh, seule. Ça veut dire que nous pouvons suivre des patients beaucoup plus compliqués avec beaucoup plus de comorbidités dans le, en, en première ligne. Et pour ce qui concerne la communauté, est-ce qu'il y a aussi une approche qui s'oriente vers la communauté. Alors ça aussi c'est un point très très important puisque nous intégrons aussi des représentants de la communauté et des patients dans la gestion de notre centre. Donc ils ont l'occasion d'exprimer leurs besoins euh, particuliers et ce qu'ils qu souhaitent dans, dans l'organisation des soins. Et le paiement c'est un système forfaitaire. Pourriez-vous euh, éclaircir quelques éléments qui pour vous sont des atouts dans le système forfaitaire pour avoir des soins de qualité alors, d'abord, les soins forfaitaires pour les patients et pour les travailleurs, c'est très pratique. Pour les patients, ça veut dire qu'ils ont un accès direct aux soins sans, aucune, euh, sans aucun frein économique. C'est un point important. Et pour l'autre organisation, ça nous permet de faire ce qu'on appelle de la substitution interne, c'est-à-dire de faire des transferts de tâches vers d'autres types de professionnels euh, sans difficulté. Euh, et, bueno, la atención primaria en México eh, es un... Euh, tópico importante en el sistema de salud ahora porque hace pocos años hemos tenido una gran reforma en México que busca alcanzar la calidad de los servicios y la universalización de la cobertura eh, y la atención primaria está buscando eh, mejorar la entrega de los servicios eh, mediante atención integrada en diferentes partes del país. At the WHO Regional Office for Europe, we have the new European Health Policy, Health 2020, which has the aim to improve the health of the people in the region and decrease inequalities. The third pillar is people-centered health system strengthening, and primary health care is really documented as the cornerstone of a people-centered system, 
also to foster transformation of care. This is very timely because this year we are going to celebrate and commemorate the 35th anniversary of the Alma Ata Declaration on Primary Healthcare with also additional support from the Member States to open a center in Kazakhstan, in Almata, if approved by the Regional Committee. And this, of course, is very timely with the global move towards universal health coverage. Uh, it's, uh, primary care is under attack. Uh, and the role of the primary care health professionals are restricted. Uh, the aim being from authorities to reduce costs, giving us, or they mean to give us the role as gatekeepers, but they restrict our ability to accomplish this role. I will say that is the most pressing, pressing issue right now. And we are, we are subject to a reform uh, which sounds uh, quite attractive uh, for us. I'm not speaking remuneration re now, uh, but on a medical, academical and practical level. But we are restricted to accomplish this. So that is hard. Okay. For the European Forum for Primary Care, I think that it's a very good international association because uh, it unites uh, efforts of um, uh, all countries of Europe and uh, worldwide uh, in developing um, and straightening the primary health care uh, and uh, straightening the capacity of all people involved in all levels, uh, uh, providing opportunities to share knowledge, uh, to develop various initiatives and to work uh, together towards uh, common goals. Uh, this especially is good uh, for Macedonia because uh, we are also a country which uh, puts lots of effort in straightening and uh, primary health care and developing the family medicine. Therefore, I think that the European Forum will uh, contribute uh, uh, and uh, we look forward to straighten our liaison with um, our association. Uh, my name is Nick Gooden. I'm the CEO of the International Foundation for Integrated Care. Um, the foundation is a, a not-for-profit organisation based in the Netherlands and it has at the heart of its mission to promote the, the science, uh, the knowledge uh, and the application of integrated care around the world. Um, it attempts to do that in a number of different ways by having a scientific journal, uh, by organising conferences and events, by being part of research and development programmes, um, but also moving into education and training programmes as well as creating a knowledge centre to, to share information around integrated care uh, across Europe and, uh, and, and, and further afield. The European Forum of Primary Care and our foundation have a, have a very common uh, starting point because when you look at the definitions of primary care in its widest sense and you look at the definitions of integrated care, they're really very similar. It's about continuity of care, it's around coordination of care, it's just about supporting the holistic needs of patients to get the care that they require at the right time in the right place. So the agendas are very similar. Um, so the idea of the foundation and the idea of the forum is to bring people together to have these conversations about how we can think about working differently together, either in primary care or between primary care and hospital care, or between health and social care, or between physical and mental health care. And these conversations are needed because each organisation is faced with taking forward their agendas uh, in a new environment, an environment where we have increasing numbers of older people, increasing numbers of people with uh, complex chronic conditions, increasing numbers of people with comorbidities that need to be managed in different ways. So if primary care is to be taken forward differently, or hospital care is to be taken forward differently, we need to have that common understanding of the way forward. And I think the, the European form of primary care and the foundation um, are, are a good match to do that through conferences and events, um, through exchange of knowledge, uh, and we hope to be um, we hope to be working together strongly over over many years to come. Well, actually, the important thing about the European Forum for Primary Care uh, is it's not only um, GPs organization. So it's a multidisciplinary organization, and uh, we re we are really in need of that when we are developing new systems, trying to find new ways. And in Turkey, you know, there is a very huge. Um, transformation, a, a big uh, um, a kind of a new uh, system for the health care 
um, and in that system they uh, recently uh, actually introduced the family medicine scheme so uh, in that sense uh, we need to uh, strengthen primary care in Turkey and we cannot do it only with the GPs I think so we are in need of uh, other disciplines uh, and also we are in need of making um, I mean um, actually creating new politics for the primary care and give some evidence to the politicians so uh, not only evidence-based medicine but I mean also we need some evidence in the organization level as well uh, so these are quite important uh, for Turkey um, and I really like European for uh, primary care because I mean a lot of people uh, join there and I can meet uh, people from different disciplines and make new contacts and new networks uh, which really uh, helped me in my work in Turkey. Uh, Greece is uh, struggling the last 35 years to follow the Almaty essential primary healthcare goals but unfortunately it's trying to do that not based on an organized primary care system. So you can understand that by definition we need to go towards this uh, primary care uh, direction which is in the core of uh, EFPC uh, targets. This uh, multidisciplinary approach which is a primary care core element is one of the uh, main elements that Greek healthcare system organization uh, miss and uh, I think that uh, uh, EFPC uh, can help us uh, very much to achieve this, uh, this goal. Uh, there is a, a, a big frustration mm -hmm. uh, among the patients. Uh, they, are, uh, they feel unsafety they feel that uh, they cannot have the proper um, um, the proper use of uh, health services and uh, they feel insecure and uh, they are afraid. This is the main problem. Uh, of course there are uh, many other problems because uh, we have uh, a, mental, uh, a mental crisis too, uh, melancholy, depression, uh, anxiety disorders because of the crisis. Many of them are unemployed now and uh, they ask for a uh, free uh, charge of uh, uh, the services. Although uh, the charge is only 5 euros, but there are people that even these 5 euros can't afford it. And so this is the main problem. Uh, what else? I think that uh, this crisis affects all the kinds of uh, our life. 